all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i apologize for the picture in the screen but we want to give you an idea what we will talk about you know we hear always the muslims they keep saying that allah is god and okay who is this god uh, this god have a special description he have 99 attribute this is all what they know about him that's it muhammad himself never met him never even heard his voice ah, that's it okay so in order for us to know the god of muhammad we have to check what muhammad said about his god not christian prince i mean who knows allah better than muhammad nobody for sure right so let us see who is allah and let us see who is satan and then we can figure out who is satan and who is god for muslims you know the muslim they will say to you that allah obviously he says that he is against satan well let us see <laughs> if this is true if we go in the quran we will find as an example allah ordering the angels to bow down to adam As an example, this is exists in many, you know, Muhammad, he is a person, he keeps repeating the same thing all over. I mean, he has nothing to say. As an example, chapter 2, verse number 34. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, except Iblis, he refused. But, you know, here you see that there's something stupid in this verse, because Iblis is not an angel in Islam, you see. Uh, Satan, in Christianity, he is a foreign angel. In Islam, he is just a genie. But here we notice that the first one who is permitting and practicing shirk. You know, what Muslim they say to you, if you bow down to anyone beside Allah, is against Allah teaching, blah, 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 blah. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is Allah is teaching you and ordering not only in the angels, I mean the angels. He's ordering the angels to do what? To bow down to a man not to him you see here <laughs> he is not ordering the angels to bow down to him he is ordering the angels to bow down to the man so how Allah can be God who is teaching you to worship and to bow down only to him then we find that the first one who permitted and committed shirk which is associating or because bowing is an act of worship bowing down is an act of worship what what bowing down for you know you tell me what bowing down for if you bow down to somebody you know like i understand if uh, there is a king and in the culture of this nation but those are human and king etc but here we, we have god iblis is a and this is additional lie from muhammad because how allah he said the quran is a pure arabic and then he used the word iblis go right now and search what the origin of the word iblis and you will see that muhammad is a is a, is a liar why he is using the word iblis remember the quran says we made this book a pure arabic the muhammad claimed that this is a pure Arabic book, but Satan is not Arabic, Quran is not Arabic, Qalam is not Arabic, uh, Allah himself is not Arabic. Muhammad, he claimed that this book is a very pure and clear Arabic. And because it's so pure and clear, this is why we see hundreds of words have nothing to do with the Arab language. In the same time, it's so clear uh, to the point we need one million interpretation and none of them agree with the other each one i mean do you see how 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 clear the arabic he allah he use eh? uh, <clears throat> so how we will prove that allah is god i will do something to help the muslims because there's no no muslim is talking to me so i have no choice or to, to just to see what Muslim they say. I will go to Prophet Google, peace upon him. Oh, sorry, Allah pray on him and salute him. 
and I will search what is a proof is exist that Allah is God okay let us see if we can find a Muslim website give me a minute Okay, hmm. we cannot use videos, so we have to use article, you know. Okay, maybe we found something, let us see. I'm just trying to find a website who can help me. You see, I'm, I'm trying, just, you know, I, I found something very funny, but let me see if I can find something better. Uh, this is because this is very silly, I mean. Uh, Maybe we found here something. Let us see. You see, I search in here. I mean, I search in Google to find one uh, website can help me. And look what I found. What is the proof that Allah is God? All prophet were Muslims. <laughs> All the prophet were Muslim, including including Alexander the Great. <laughs> you see, I'm trying, I'm trying my help to help the Muslims to see, okay, okay, how, what what would make this God God? So, what do you say to me? All prophet were Muslims. Right. This is the answer and what is the proof they were Muslim okay if Prophet were Muslims then they do the same as Muhammad was Moses accused of stealing underwear was Isa a child molester was he a thief he attacked caravan take the money and take the clothes of the people and take even their sandals as we can show you from their books so when you say he's a Muslim I mean, what what Muslim did Moses kiss black stone did Abraham kiss stones and go around stones? What? What is that? So when they say to us, all the prophets are Muslim, brother. Okay, we, we laugh at you what you're saying. Because first of all, the God of Abraham and the God of Moses and the God of all the prophets, and from the Old Testament, from the first uh, uh, page in the Old Testament, you will find that God and his spirit, God and his spirit. So the God of Moses have a spirit. The God of Abraham have a spirit. The God of Elijah have a spirit. But the God of Islam is not. He's not a spirit and he has no spirit. So how can he be the same God? That's a lie. And then the word Islam means submission. I mean, this is most one of the most funny things. No, the word Islam does not mean submission. The word, word Islam means to surrender. To surrender in war. If we go in the Quran, you will find here it says <clears throat> and by the way this is a mistake many even Christians they say uh, submission submission because they are copying they don't speak Arabic they, they are copying what the, the Muslim they told them right so we copy paste like them and we say whatever, whatever they say uh, but this is absolutely uh, not a true uh, if you go in the uh, in the Quran chapter 49 the Muslim translation says here in this translation the desert Arabs say we believe say have not you have not faith but you only say we have submitted our wills to Allah okay hold on hold on just to show you how the translation is stupid because if they are submitting their will to Allah then how you say to them you have no faith 
So the word submitted here wrong because submission is something you do willingly, not by enforcement. And you, in order to do it willingly, you have to have faith. Correct? Like, let us say, this. forget about God. Let us say, I uh, 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 like uh, I, I'm going to follow you. I trust you. I say I trust you. So in order to use the word trust you, that's mean I have to do it willingly. If you force me, obviously I don't trust you. So here he's, he just said to them, you have no faith. So how they are submitting to him? Obviously the word submission here is false. If we change the translator, and all of them they are Muslims, all of them they are Muslims. You will see right away the translation change from submission. Is going to be surrender. Let us change to see what uh, what we will find. Is it really submit or surrender? Here we go. Muhammad Hilari and Muhammad Khan, the Bedouin says, the Arab, we believe. Say you believe not, but you only say we surrender. What surrender here? We became Muslims, Islamna. So Islam mean literally we surrender in war. Why the Arab they say we believe, but the fact they are not. Look. They are saying we surrender. Allah is saying yes, you surrender, but you don't believe. But the, the one who says this verse is Muhammad. There is no Allah. So the Bedouin, because Muhammad, he conquered them. He beat the hell of them and he tortured them. And the one who will not accept Islam will die. So he forced them to say we are Muslims, which means we surrender. But in fact, they have no faith. And you tell me, if, if Allah is God, why he is forcing people to surrender to him and he accept them to be Muslims? Because here the word is, we became Muslims. Read it carefully. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew what I'm talking about. You say we believe, don't say we believe. Say, we became Muslim, which means we surrender. For faith never enter your heart. Okay, how they became Muslim then if they... If faith never entered their heart do you see it the Quran confirmed that those people they surrender to Allah they became Muslims but faith never entered heart so how somebody never faith never entered his heart and then they joined by thousands into Islam because they surrender die or surrender you see in different verse actually uh, Muhammad, he, he made it clear. He said, uh, uh, say to the Arabian who did not join us in Islam, we are going to go after you and we will kill you all if you don't surrender. You see here, they use the word submit again in this translation, but the fact is surrender. Say to the desert Arab who lag behind, which means they are not joining Islam, you shall be sum summoned to fight against the people who give in, you know, like they are, they are a gang. He is making a threat. Tell them those Arab who don't want to join us in Islam, we are going to kill you. And this is why we see the other verse saying, okay, the Arab who the Muhammad, he threatened them to kill them, he killed many of them, and those who survive, they surrender. So how this is can be God? You need to surrender your will to the devil. He accepts that you know that he is not God. He don't have a problem. Let's just say Shahada. Do you see the hypocrisy? If Allah is God, how he accept people to say we are Muslims? And he knew they don't believe in him. He forced them. Do you understand the point? If Allah is God, he will not accept. He will do the opposite. You remember what Jesus said? Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. Muhammad the opposite. <laughs> Allah the opposite. You believe in me or not, just surrender. Who care? Just surrender, surrender. Okay, surrender. Bow down to me, the devil. He knew that nobody respect him. He knew that he's a fraud. He knew he's a liar. He knew he's the father of all lies. But all what he care is to conquer you and to make you surrender. You don't care if you believe or not. Otherwise, I change any Muslim. What kind of God, he says to them, die or I will kill you or you surrender to me. And then after that, we find that this God, he is saying clearly that the Arab, they don't believe in me. They just surrender.
So again, when they say the word submitting, submitted, that's a, that's a fraud. How you force them and then you do they submit it. And this is why, you know, the Muslims, in order to make you surrender, they try to intimidate you. If they can, they use a sword. If they cannot, they intimidate you by, th intimidate you by threat. Like in our cases, they try like to humiliate you or let us say, oh, we post a picture of you uh, there. Suppose this is you or me, whatever. And, and I and I die laughing at their at, the, at what they post, but all the all the point is how we can intimidate a person, how we can scare you. So they threat you, we will kill you, we will find you, whatever you know, etc. And then if you are not getting intimidated, so what we will do? This is why Islam is a one hundred percent satanic cult. There is an ustad in Indonesia. He left Islam. And he, 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 they have a video of him recorded secretly by one of the uh, bugs uh, stating that Jesus is his God. He's a big ustaz. He left Islam. And then a few weeks after, I don't know how long it took, uh, for sure he started receiving death threat and they will kill him. And I'm sure they give him a warning. Either you convert back to Islam or we will kill you. The guy, he said shahada again. The guy, he said shahada again. But the question is, if Islam is a true religion and from the true God, why they are threatening a man to come back to Islam by the sword? If Islam is a true religion and the one who believe, believe and the one who want to leave, leave. No. All the videos on YouTube are talking about those. this person. His name is Yudi Moliana. He's a big ustaz in Indonesia. Who became Murtad, which means apostate. So the only way to keep Indonesian surrender to the Arab, well, because this is what the purpose of Islam, by the way, is to make you a slave of the Arab. All of you are slaves of the Arab based on Islam. The second you are a Muslim, you are under the control of the Arab. You pray in Arabic, you talk, you want you need your God Allah, He don't even listen to you unless you are speaking the Arab language. Did you ask yourself why? For this is a cult made by the Arab. And the purpose of it to make the Arab superior, the white Arab, over other ethnic groups. This is why wherever Islam goes, right away everything transforms into Arabic. As if those people are, they don't have their own culture, they don't have their religion. No, they don't. That's it. With the, uh, Arabic will destroy everything. This is why Muhammad, he says, the one who is proud about his previous inheritance before Islam, telling him to go and bite the penis of his father. I mean, what kind of a prophet he says such a statement? Imagine, go and bite the penis of your father. How filthy, disgusting, trashy person. He's still murtad? I don't know, I saw a video I saw a video that he was saying Shahada. Is that an old video or a new video? I'm not sure. Is he still he's still out of Islam? Yeah, they want to kill his family, etc. I think he, and I, they made him back a uh, Muslim. Yeah, I know. My friend, we knew we are from the Middle East. We knew what this garbage, this gang is about. It's a gang. It's a filthy gang. Now, let us continue. So Allah, he agree, Aka Muhammad, that you do not need to believe in him to be considered a follower. All what you need to do is to surrender to him. Right? You need to surrender to him. Let us see the Indonesian translation, what it does say. Uh, the Pasha translation, here we go. I don't know what it says there, but you tell me. 
Does it say submission or surrender in the translation? Mostly they will say submission, right? To lie to you. But obviously it cannot be submission because submission is something you do willingly. So how they are doing it willingly and nobody is forcing them, but yet they have no faith. There is no way anyone will submit to someone unless he has faith on him. Right? This is the truth. Muslim prince, he is saying, هَلْ صَحِيحْ أَنَّ الْمَسِيحُ هُوَ رَبْ مِنْ دُونَ اللَّهِ This is an example of the, of the Muslim. You know, I never saw a Muslim, he have a smart question. Why you don't make your question in English so everybody will laugh with me, Mr. Muslim prince? All of them now, they are trying to copy me. There's all of them, they are Muslim friends now. هل صح أن المسيح هو رب من دون الله? Is it true that the Messiah is Lord without Allah? Allah is a, is a, is a Satan, my friend. What are you talking about? Allah. <laughs> Look at this Allah. Have you ever heard of Allah like this? I mean, Allah is God for the Muslim. But look what Allah, he said. Allah in the Quran, he said. If this book is other than Allah, it's made by other than Allah, which means God. He's using his name, supposedly. You will find a lot of garbage in it. Contradiction. This is your God stating. So how we can find if Allah is God or not? The Quran gives us a very nice way to find out. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Can't they, you know, comprehend the Quran, deal with the Quran? Why the Quran is so hard to agree with it? Allah is saying that. If this is a book not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction and garbage in it. Well, here we go. Muslim Prince, are you willing to call me and let us count together the garbage in your book? It's endless. Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the mountains or the stars? One chapter he say the opposite, and the other chapter he say totally the opposite. So your God, Allah Himself, He said it clearly, if this is a book not from Allah, or supposedly not from God, you will find a lot of shish kebab hummus. We don't. In the, we, I wish we find shish kebab hummus. We find bugs. We find rats and mice. We find a stinky hole. If we go right now, as long as we mention this topic. <clears throat> in chapter 2 verse number 29 it says Allah is the one who created all things are on earth and then and you see here, here the funny. They translate, they say, moreover, more, that's a lie. Thumma in Arabic is a period, it's a conjunction, which is presenting a long period of time. And I told you there is a Muslim who teach Arabic, supposed to convert people to Islam. Search for the word thumma meaning, and he will show you that thumma is used, like in Arabic we use wa, if something happened after, right after. Thumma is something happened while after. So Allah created everything on earth. And then a while after he went to heaven and then he finished the heaven, he made them seven heaven. So the earth was finished, all of it, nothing left first. This is the Quran saying that. They kidnap his two kids to convert him back to Islam. I, be, I believe you. I believe you. I know this gang. I know this garbage. I, I, you know, I understand, my friend. I have nothing against him. You know, I, I feel sorry for him. But he, he is the one who put himself in this garbage if he became a Muslim, first of all. Uh, then if we go in the Quran, we will find that the, the founder of the Quran is making a lot of poo-poo. This, this person, he cannot maintain what he say i mean he don't remember his lies this one one of the lies you know uh, uh, practice 
In chapter 41, verse number 9, it says, <laughs> it, uh, uh, How you deny the one who created the earth in two days? Okay, so the earth created what? In two days. And then, and then he said, uh, and, uh, and then he said on earth, mountains. Okay, so what is the first created? The earth in two days. And then he put mountain in the, in the top of it, which is stupid because mountains are not something we put in the top. According to the Quran, وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا رَوَاسِي So Allah, he, he settled down mountains, which means coming from the sky, he put it in the top of the earth. So the earth later will not meet on you, like will not move on you. And then he made all the substance of the, the earth, like the, the, the blessing of the earth, which means uh, uh, the grass, the trees, the water, etc. And then he went to the sky, verse number 11. And you see here again, the translation says, moreover, that's a big fat lie, change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali, the scam of Yusuf Ali. <clears throat> I would choose a Muslim, you know, all of them Muslim translation, but we want to be sure. Muhammad Hilari. See, it's not moreover. Then, then he went to the sky and he made it seven sky. Okay, so what is the last thing he did? The sky was a smoke. After he finished everything in earth, as you see, this is chapter 41, verse number 9 and 10, the earth created in two days, and then he placed everything in the top of the earth, trees, mountains, etc. And then after that, he went to the heaven and he made them seven sky. They were smoke. There was nothing in the heaven. It was a smoke. And then he completed and he finished them, seven heaven. And then the last thing Allah he did, he decorated the heaven with... Uh, stars so the verses are so clear chapter 41 verse number 12 the last thing allah he created was what stars be my witness okay we go to different verse in the quran <clears throat> and right away you you will laugh with me Let us see this one actually. Hold on, this one is better. In chapter seventy nine, read with me and 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 and, and laugh at the cult of Muhammad. Muhammad is teaching you Muslims which one Allah created first. I'm showing in Indonesia now. We will switch to English later. Abaka Kamu Libi Slut Bin Sitanaya Atahuka Lanjet Allah Tela Mimba Yana. Okay, so Allah start doing what? He built the sky. This is the first step. Okay, He, he lifted up, lift what? The sky. Okay. And then he made the day and the night, which means the sun, the moon, the star, you know? Okay. And then after that, he went to the earth and he made it flat. The ha, -ha. So which one is done first? He finished the sky first here. And after that, he went to the earth. Do you like guys my Basha language? I'm getting better, right? Is it? Okay, well, let me. Dan Bami Sasiuda Itu Dihamam Dihama Diham Rahodan Diham Parkan Naya. I got the Naya at least correctly. Hello. So it says here Naya. Hello. I mean, read with me Naya. So, okay. So Allah, He finished the sky first. He's saying to them, which one is harder to do? Allah is the one who made the sky. And then He lifted. Well, where the sky was to lift it up are you are you an idiot if the sky is lifted up that's mean the sky itself is inside something else and then uh, 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 after that he made the day and the night which means he created the stars and after that he made the earth flat uh oh and after that he made the water and the grass and after that he made the mountains but hold on 
in the other chapter it was totally the opposite in chapter 41 <laughs> the last thing Allah he made the stars in chapter 79 the last thing Allah he made the mountains and before it he made the water and before it he made the earth flat and before it he made the stars so how this can be from God what do you think هذا ليس تناقض يا دجال السماء ثم الأرض ثم السماء تكملة يا دجال يا بط يا يا بطاع البطاطس. Muslim prince is saying this is not a contradiction. Okay, we will go with you. Everybody will die laughing. You know what? We will put the two the two chapters next to each other. Let me make it in English. So everybody will laugh at what your answer that this is not a contradiction. I will put them next to each other. <clears throat> Give me a second. All right. This is the first browser. And this is the second browser. Now we shrink them to make them fit together in one page. And then in a second, everybody will die laughing at your God knowledge. So what we are going to do now, we are going to put the two chapters next to each other and you be my witness. The Muslim Abdul in the chat, he said, this is not a contradiction. Well, we will see. We will see in a second. Everybody will see. Okay, let us uh, put it on the screen again. <clears throat> I hope it's going to be clear as a as a text for you guys. Let us do it. All right, here we go. Okay, now you see both of them in the screen. The one in the left. In my left, I guess I don't know what will be that in your side. Uh, I think it's going to be the same in your side. Uh, is a chapter 41. The one I'm clicking at now is a chapter 41. Take a note. The other one is 79. All right. So let us start and compare together. Chapter 79, Allah, he's saying, which one is difficult to create? The heaven he constructed, he raised it up, and then after that he made the day and the night. And after that he made the earth flat. And after that he made the grass and the water. And after that he made the mountains. Wonderful. Let us go to the other one. Read carefully. Say Muhammad. This is the Muslim translation. It's not in the Quran. Uh, do you really disbelieve in the one who created the earth in two days? Okay. He placed mountain in the top of it. So what is the second step? He created the earth. Then he made mountains. I'm going to stop here. I want you to take a note. Allah created the earth and then he, the second thing he did, he put mountains in the top of it. Okay. I'm not going to read the rest. You can read it. He made the grass, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then, and then, by the way, when we say then, actually, then it's after that. Then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. There's nothing in the sky. So what was the first step? Earth creation, mountain creation. And then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. There's nothing. And then... He completed the sky as seven sky. Okay, hold on. So here we have the mountains was created as a step number two. Step what? 
I hope I will not lose the connection because I see my connection coming up and down. Listen with me, you know, and, and laugh at this madness. <laughs> so, number two, let us type number two. This is a stage number two. Allah, he made the mountains, and this is chapter 41, Quran. I'm typing in Arabic, hold on. Quran, 41, verse number 10. In Quran 41.10, Allah's second step is He created mountains. Be my witness. There is no mistake. Okay. In chapter 41, what was the second step? Read carefully. Are you difficult to create or the heaven was constructed? So the first thing, the heaven... He raised it high, okay, and then he made the night and the day, which means the stars are created as stage number two. So here stage number two is mountains, here stage number two is the stars, okay. And after that, do you see the word after that? Guys, do you see the word after that? And after that, he spread the earth. So stage number three here, Allah is working in the earth. But here, Allah created the earth already. And he finished the earth as a stage number two. In chapter 41, no, Allah, he finished everything in the sky. And after that, he started working in the earth. And after that, he made the mountain fixed. Which means, this is a stage number what? Let us count together. Abdul, are you watching? I feel sorry for you. So, he made the heaven stage number one. He rose the heaven, sorry, and, and he rose the heaven, this is stage number two. And then he made uh, uh, day and night, darkness and, and, uh, and uh, you know, and, uh, bring afternoon and light, which we, he created light. This is the stage number three. And after that, stage number four, he made the earth flat, which is scientifically to be true. The earth is a flat, yes. Okay. So, number four, in number four, Allah start working in the earth. And number five, Allah, he made the mountains. Let us go to the other side. In the other side, is different story. Allah created the earth in two days, as you see. Created the earth in two days. This is step number one. And then he made mountains, stage number two. And he made the substance like water, grass, etc. And then, and then, look at the word then. This is who's who's the one said the then Muslim says, not me. Then he went to the sky, and the sky was what? Was a smoke. So in chapter number 41, while the earth was finished, the sky was still a smoke. Do you see it? But this is totally the opposite of a chapter 41. Where in chapter 41, as we see, it says that the earth here, sorry, the heaven first was created, and then Allah, he raised it high, and then he made night and day, which means he created the light, and actually it says there the light. And then after that, he started working in the earth. And after that, he made the grass and the water. And after that, he made the mountains. So how in the world this is can be a book from God? I am complicating things. Guys, Farouz is saying to me, I am complic... I mean, how simple it can be more than this? I am complicating things. Okay, what is the stage? Allah... Farouz, give me the answer. Allah, he created mountains... What is stage? Give me the answer. Yeah, yeah, Asma, there is no God but Allah. Yeah? And Muhammad is his messenger. That's it. And get ready. I'll convert to Islam and I will have four like you in my bedroom. Get ready. 
Hmm. Give me, give me the answer. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountain? Very simple. Who wanna give me the answer? Fairuz, your turn. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountains? Very simple. Who wanna give me the answer? Are you searching Google? It's in the front of you. It is literally in the front of you and you are saying to me, I am complicating things. Are you crazy? It's okay, it's okay guys. The internet go up and down, it's okay. Because I was finishing first the stars, as you see, but then, then I forgot that I finished the mountain first. So this is why the internet is going buffering now, because the internet is going crazy. The internet, my internet now have a cross eyes. Do not know how to focus, like to look here or there. Where is Fairuz? Fairuz, where is the answer? Did Allah created the stars first or the mountains first? And then refers to before, not after, guys. And then, according to Asma, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you how cute the Asma. She said, when the Quran says, and then it's referred to before, not after. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, but just the rose in the guys. Read with me. And then it refer refer to before, not to after. The Muslim men, they could not answer. The, the Muslim women, she gave us the correct answer. The word and then, it means before, brother, not after. <laughs> that is hilarious defense. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, I wish I can grow someone like you in my yard, but they don't allow me. No chickens. So now the answer that then refer to after, to before, not after, really? In which language is that? Huh? In which language? So look at them, all of them, they are in trouble. They do not know what to do. Muhammad obviously is a fraud. He don't remember which one he created first. In chapter 41, obviously, the, f the last thing Allah he created, it was the stars. Read it, verse number 12. After he completed the sky, he finished it, all right? And then the last thing he said, he did, he decorated the sky with lamps. The last thing. But in chapter number 79, no. It was the second step where after, after Allah he raised the heaven, he made the light and the darkness. Read it. It's in the front of you. So, the stars in chapter 41 is the last step Allah of a creation. In chapter, 40, uh, chapter 79, the third step of a creation is the stars. The fourth step, Allah made the earth flat. The fifth step, He, he made the mountains. Do you see it? So isn't it obvious that the one who made the Quran is an idiot? Isn't it clear? Any Muslim? So it's very clear that the Quran is made by the, by the devil. His name is Muhammad. And he is not even a smart devil. He's a small devil. He's a puppy of a devil. The devil is way smarter than this. I mean, there's no way the devil, with all the, the, the power he have, he will make such a stupid thing. So this is the stupid Muhammad. He's trying to take the job of the devil, or the devil is using him, but Muhammad is fabricating Quran now. What happened to Farouz? Oh, look, look, guys. 
Look, 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 uh, uh, look what Fairuzi said to us. Just to show you, just to show you an example of their uh, of the madness when they are in disability. So he admitted that this is a contradiction, and now the answer is coming like this. Listen, listen carefully. After Asma, now we have a guy. His name is Fairuz. This guy is the one who said to me he would drink water. You remember him? <laughs> and he left the microphone open, and he was searching for the reference, and he could not get anything. So I get him busted. How you can understand God, creation? Are you God? Were you idiot if we cannot understand God, the creation? So why Allah is telling us how he created? <laughs> if we cannot understand, is your God Allah stupid? Are you, are you saying that Allah is stupid? How? How can you understand God, the creation? Are you God? You know, I'm not God. Stupid idiot. And people, they say to me, why you use the word idiot? I mean, bring me a, a better word to use. Bring me a better word. In, instead of answering how stupid the Quran is, how you understand God the creation? Well, your God is uh, he's writing for me in my language. Arabic is my language. I am an Arab. And he is saying to me that he is an idiot. He don't even remember which one he created first, which one he created after. So while in heaven, while in chapter 41, the heaven was the last station of a creation, the last, the end, read it, the last. What will make it that? This is a, a stage number eight, ten. It's the last, doesn't matter what it is. In chapter number 79, it is number three. In chapter number 79, uh, the mountains are created as a stage number 5. In chapter 41, the mountains are created as a stage number 2. So what we will do now? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? So it's so clear that Allah is the devil. He is silly, he is a stupid. And uh, when I say Allah is the devil, I'm, say, I'm speaking about Muhammad who is possessed by the devil. Actually, even the Muslims agree that Muhammad is a satanic man. And Muhammad, he received command from the devil. If we go right now to the hadith in the front of your eyes, let us do that. After we prove to you the stupidity of the author of the, author of the Quran, read carefully with me. <clears throat> I will put the hadith for you. Muhammad, he admitting that the shaitan is the one who gave him command. Read carefully. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2814a. Muhammad said, let us see first that, that the title, chapter the mischief of shaitan. So we are talking about what? The shaitan and his, and his troops. Okay, so now, Muhammad is teaching us about shaitan and his troops. Okay, let us see the shaitan and his troops. What happened to Muhammad? They're amongst you whom is not attached from amongst the devil, the genie. The companion, they said, Allah, messenger, would you too? Muhammad now is going to use his smart bum and he will answer. Look what Muhammad is saying. Thereupon he, which means Muhammad said, yes, yes, I got one too. But Allah helped me against him, so I am safe from his hands, and he does not command me, but for good. Do you see it? Who is commanding Muhammad? The devil. What the devil command to Muhammad? It's a good command. Do you see it? Do you see it, people? Muhammad saying clearly, the devil, he command me. I'm just the devil's servant. All of us, we remember, 
Who remember my uh, my my debate with uh, Sheikh Abdul Wadud? Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Sheikh Abdul Wadud. He tried his best to to say the Prophet did not receive satanic verses. Uh, Satan, Satan. He tried to put satanic verses, and then I got him busted with no mercy. Go watch it. Actually, some one of you he translated the video in 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 uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, Indonesian language. Actually, if there is Indonesian, I mean Filipino, Korean, please translate my videos. You know, you have a great blessing by doing that because so we can save as many. We can save the Christians from converting to Islam, and we can save Muslims from Islam too. Right. <clears throat> well, uh, uh, Sam Shamoon should not allow someone like Ultimate Fort to quote. This guy is an idiot. You know, this is a, you know, it's a joke. He's a kid. We want adult. Any Muslim can explain to me how Muhammad received command from the devil? You know, in my program, I allow Muslim kids to call, even if they are kids, but we give you a chance once, twice, three times. But, you know, for us here, we want to be scholars. But if you are a kid, we will give you, like Farouz, Farouz, you know, this kid, he, you know, listen, Prince, I'm going to explain to you. And actually, I'm going to drink water. Uh, Farouz, what? I'm going to need to drink water. Okay, uh, but Farouz is in Ramadan. Farouz, he supposedly muted me, but the fact that he, he muted his own, he muted his speaker, so he cannot hear me no more. And he starts searching his computer, talking to his friend next to him, asking him to help where we can find so we can refute him. And after 10 minutes waiting, he come back to me to say, uh, Christian Blens, <laughs> kids, what we can do? Right? Uh, Muslim emperor saying, Jesus died, wrote, end of the story. Will Muslim emperor, that's mean your prophet is a fraud. Guys, let me show you how Muslims, they insult and they spank their prophet. Read carefully what this Muslim he said. Muslim emperor saying, Jesus died and wrought. End of the story. That means Muhammad is a liar. Because according to Muhammad, Jesus is in heaven as we speak. So thank you, Muslim emperor, for spanking your prophet and get him busted. However, neither us, neither the Muhammadan, you are a Muhammadan supposedly, believe in such a garbage you just said. But you are just an upset person, you have no idea what to say. Until now, we prove that Allah, in everything we say, that Allah is Satan. What else we can prove that Allah is Satan? Can you believe that there is a God who enjoys torture? Torture in which way? We torture in a silly way. I mean, okay, we believe in heaven, we believe in hell, we believe. But do you believe that there is a God he will insert in the anus of a human being? Chain. And this chain, every ring of it is equal to all the iron in this earth. Can you believe it? I mean, how silly. How silly and how stupid. <clears throat> Let us see. In chapter 69, and funny, it's a miracle, it's number 69. This is a sexual thing. In chapter 69, verse number 32, Allah speak about fasting the human and he insert in their anus a chain, which is in the size of 70 cubits, but this is the cubit of Allah. How big this chain and what this chain is about? Let us go and read the interpretation made by the Muhammadan, shall we? Because most of them, they will say, oh, doesn't say that, ZV. You are lying, ZV. Yeah, okay. So, chapter 69, verse number 32. <clears throat> All right, this is Ibn Kathir. We will put the screen in front of you so all of you can read together. I have nothing to do with it. This is not my translation. This is not my book. 
This is not a Christian prince uh, is saying that. Read carefully and don't play the game of the kids we always hear. And fasten him in a chain where for the length of it, 70 cubit Kabul Ahbar said every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of Aaron in the found in the earth in the world. If, 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 if. Every ring of this chain is equal to the entire iron exist in the world. How big this chain is? That's so big, brother. Now, what Allah will do with this chain? Read carefully, brother. Read carefully. It will be entered into his buttocks. Where? Where, where? Allah will enter the chain where? In his what? Okay, let me explain to you for those who they are not getting it. You know me. I'm very good in art. Very good. Ah, what I can do, it's in my blood. It's a gift from Allah, actually. From Allah. So, this is a guy who was not fasting Ramadan. Okay. He was actually holding his phone in his hand, spending all the time playing with the phone and eating food and watching a, 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 a football game. Allah, in the judgment day, brother, he is going to bring a big chain. Huge. I cannot make the chicken chain chain big as Allah he said because it's very huge remember I mean we cannot put it in the screen but we will make it small just for the purpose of education and then Allah will insert this chain in his <coughs> in his anus and what is after that brother the chain brother not only will go okay hold on we should make the chain in different color and the guy in different color i mean this is not a good uh, i hope the inspection of the department of uh, education will not come now because they will say okay well, how come you have the same color for the chain and this is not a good uh, uh, you know like uh, move okay let us change the, the the color okay this is the guy who was not fasting brother Yeah. Okay. So the chain of brother is going to go inside his what? His buttocks. Okay. And where the chain will come from? It says here, it will be run from behind until it's brought out of his nostrils. Like what? So to make it simple for you and more clear. This is the nose of this Muslim. This is his nose. This is his eyes. I mean, those eyes look weird, man. Anyway, Allah knows best. So Allah will insert the chain in the anus and the chain brother will come from his nostrilius from where i don't even know how to say the word from here brother from here from here i mean it makes sense it get inside the anus it come from the nose because they are connected scientifically this is true if you think about it, this is scientifically true because you know, like if from you know what go in your neck is going to come from your nose, like hello. Huh? But isn't this is a like a, a movie by evil, evil people who believe who enjoy such a such a baby? I mean, what is this? Okay, the guy, you know, you wanna uh, uh, 
you know, you want to send him to hell, blah, blah. What, what this is, the anus? What, what kind of language you are talking about? Is that God? God will insert a chain in the anus and this chain is so huge? Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have Fairuz. We have Fairuz. He got us. He got us busted. Fairuz. He got something to prove to us. After all the stupid things we proved to him, he got us busted. He he got us something to prove that uh, the Quran is from Allah. Okay, we agree. Allah, the Quran from Allah, the devil. Chapter fifty-one, verse number forty-seven. Talk about the space expansion. It's my challenge to you to show me an ancient or religious book explain this. You either this is in the Old Testament where it says that the heaven is the same as a curtain which God he expand. Somebody pause for him to eat the verse. Secondly, the Quran does not say he is doing expansion. You are a liar. The Quran says, and we have the power to do more. Do you want me to get you busted, Abdul? Right now as we speak. Or you are ashamed of this verse, so we are trying to take our attention from the anus story. <laughs> You know what? We are here. And you are there. Chapter 51, verse number 47. And Ibn Kathir will get you busted. Hey, let us go to Ibn Kathir. I will keep the chain and the nose just for you. Chapter 51. You see, we Christians, we have the verses in the Bible says that God, he expands the heaven like a curtain. And we don't make a big deal about it. So what? This is not a book of science anyway. But we don't go and say science in the Bible. It's silly people. But look, they fabricate even the meaning of their God teaching. It says, So Allah, He have hands, He built the sky with it. Where it says, He will expand it, you liar. Read it. Verily, we are able to extend the vastness of the space, therefore, means. We made it vast and we brought the roof high without pillar support. And by the way, here, the translation is not accurate to the Arabic. In Arabic, it says it clearly. And we are going to give more of our creation. However, this is mentioned in the Old Testament. If that, that was a true, long before Muhammad was born, long before the Arab are exist, Why you are an idiot? And why they fabricate meaning? If we go... Just to show you how they fabricate. And the website is not opening. I think the website of Saudi of uh, Jordan is ho is hosted by Mr. Bean. All right. <clears throat> Do he accept what his scholars they are saying? He will not. Just wait. Guys, shall I say the take off the the nose and the stuff or leave it there? Chapter 41, verse number seven, uh, 47. Where is Allah will expand this, uh, the, the space? and uh, Allah will build more. Read carefully. And the heaven we built with might, indeed. We are powerful. One says, etc., etc. Okay? He's strong and he become capable of doing more strong stuff. Do you see it? There is no heaven is extending and there is no garbage you are mentioning. Tafsir ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. And if we see even Ibn Kathir in English, we will find that it doesn't fit at all with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. We build the created the heaven in might, so we make it vast extend therefore. We will, and it's also said it's mean, we expand the provision there, thereof. So this is what will prove to us that Allah is God. What about your prophet explaining more about the Quran, how the sun set in the murky water? Are you going to say Allah, prophet, is an idiot? Say it. I challenge you. Say it, say it. 
you can say it to me you can say it to me you know if you don't say it i'm not going to take the picture of this uh, you know i was sitting behind of the messenger of allah saw who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting i asked he asked do you know what the sun said i replied allah and his messenger apostle know better the prophet said then look at the wisdom man it's set in a spring of muddy water and you are telling me your god he speak about the expanse of the universe hmm? maybe your prophet is not aware of the knowledge of the quran guys i'm going to make auction for all my art okay uh, who want to buy this picture let's start with the auction here we will call it the wisdom of allah anus that was a metaphor the sun this guy is talking about the sun sitting in murky water this metaphor guys muhammad is saying to the guy do you know where the sun goes the guy he said no is the sun is a metaphorical or physical thing it's a metaphor it's a metaphor brother it's a metaphor so the one which is about expanding the universe according to you was not metaphor was really 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 happening now this is metaphor Feroz, don't get married your wife she will cheat on you on the second day i'm telling you she will come here she will hear intelligent people talking and she will go and listen to her husband Farouz. And like, what the heck? How I did marry this guy? Huh? Metaphor? You know, Farouz, I'm going to give you a metaphor option to, to call me. What do you think? Can you call me in a metaphorical way? What do you think guys do you like do you like to to hear if i lose mr metaphor what do you think and you see to make it simple for you mr metaphor i will just i'm not going to ask you any question give me one proof that allah is god anything is that fair guys i'm not going to question i'm not going to show you bad things in the quran no Do you have any proof that Allah is God? <clears throat> Are you uh, Are you online, Mr. Farouz? <clears throat> Anyone? Feruz, are you there? Mr. Metaphor. <clears throat> hmm. This is not texting me. The one who is asking about super chat, you know, YouTube always they don't they drop my super chat because I am very tough and Mohammedan cult. Uh, however, if you want to donate, you can donate either in Patreon or you can donate on uh, the super chat for the other account we have. Uh, they try to put a pressure on me to stop uh, exposing the cult of Muhammad, but I will not do that. I don't care. You put super chat, you don't super chat. Muhammad is a fraud. You like it, you don't like it. I don't care. The sun set in Madi Walker. People see going down. Prophet Muhammad is showing it a metaphor. Ah, guys, look at the logic. Look at the science. Mr. Farouz, or Farouz, why don't call me? He went to the kitchen and he squeezed his nose and he got all the boogers out. 
Sunset in muddy water, people see sun going down. So Prophet Muhammad is showing in metaphor. Abdul, the guy is saying, Muhammad, your guy, he said to him, do you know where the sun set? What metaphor? It was sunset time. So Muhammad saying to the guy, do you know? The other guy, he says, Allah and his messenger know the best. So this is the knowledge of Allah. And what the muddy water have to do with metaphor? Okay, explain to us the metaphor. What is the metaphor of muddy water? I want to go with you, brother. What is the metaphorical meaning of muddy water? <laughs> and by the way, in the Quran, it doesn't say uh, ocean or anything. The Quran says it clearly that in a spring of muddy water, boiling water too. spring of water the ocean is not spring and your prophet he says a spring of water he did not say ocean read it oh you are blocked in skype no you called me just uh, two days ago what do you mean you blocked me i blocked you okay okay hold on hold on let's see maybe i lost my patience with you because you are just a kid Maybe we will check. Give me a second, please, Abdul. <clears throat> Hold on. Your name is Pharaoh's, right? Okay, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's. I'm looking in the blocking list. As I remember, you have two names, Pharaoh's, top line. It's very hard for me to find you because I have thousands and thousands of uh, emails. I mean, uh, people who add me Feroz, Feroz, Feroz. No, you are not in. Okay, what his name? Feroz Sheikh. Okay. Call me, call me, you are not blocked. Call me. Come on, let everybody see how smart you are. Okay, you know what? I will call you. You are not calling. I found your name. <coughs> answer, answer, Abdul. Yes, Mr. Farouz, go ahead. Give us a proof that Allah is God. Go ahead, we are listening. I cannot hear you properly. Hello? You don't hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, that's good. So, uh, Farouz, give us, an, uh, give us a great example that Allah is God. How you can prove that to us? Go ahead. See, I will give you all the examples and I will also expose you. But first, you need to promise me that you will not mute me or uh, disconnect my call because you are afraid to debate with me i'm very afraid to do debate with you is that so we now we are having a debate now me and you 
no we are having but all all the time you mute me and you cut off my call and you shout yeah right. no i mute you listen. no i mean i hang up on you because you say things without a proof okay are you going to give us a proof or you will make a stupid statement no i I am I am going to give you the proof, but you okay. don't let me. Okay. So uh, can you can can point. can you and me agree before we start talking that the one who don't give a proofs Islamic proof, solid proofs, he is lying. Is that okay? Yes, I agree. Okay, go ahead. I understand. Okay, so uh, what was the point about uh, sun setting, right? Okay, tell me about the sun setting. Okay, what about it? Yeah, yeah. First of all, you are using the hadith. Okay, hmm. and uh, in in Quran, if you read that uh, verse, let me keep the verse. Keep your mouth from the microphone, please, so we can hear you. Hello. Yeah, keep your mouth from the microphone so we can hear you. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah, we do. Go ahead. So, okay, so first of all, let me tell you the uh, what you are using is from Hadi. Okay, and from from uh, from Quran, if you read it, read it from the Quran, it explains that uh, Alexander saw it, uh, that sun was setting in the muddy water. So mm. it was from the perspective of Alexander, right? Are you getting my point? Mm. So Alexander, he saw the sun set in murky water. Who is the one saying Alexander, he saw the sun set in murky water? Wait, wait, let me, let me give you the word. <coughs> Hello, can you hear me? I hear you, my friend. Are you going to ask me every two seconds? Are you hearing me? Come on. So, who is the one said that Alexander the Great, he found the sun sitting in murky water? Who said that? Hello? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let me give you the word. Oh, okay. You are searching now? Okay, search. Go ahead. You can call a friend if you want. You can call Zach and I. I mean, why it's hard to tell me who is the one? Who is the one who said the statement? You just explained to me the statement, but you do not know who is the one who said the statement? Do you want to drink some water like last time? I don't hear you speak. Get close to the microphone, please. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will give you the link. Get, get it close to the microphone, my friend. Get it close to the microphone. I don't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I do. Keep, keep it close always from the microphone, please. Okay, now, what do you want to say? Okay, so I, will, I will give you the link on Skype because I can't give it on YouTube. You will send me a link? No, don't send me a link. Tell me who is the one talking. My friend, it's you. You and me. What link? What link? Uh, what link? Who is the one is talking there? Who is the one who said that Alexander the Great he found the sun sitting in murky water? Who is the one is talking? It's very simple. Uh, are you are you talking about uh, Hadith or Quran? My friend, I don't care. Who is the one? You you are the one who told me Alexander the Great he saw the sun sitting in murky water. I'm asking you, okay? Who is the one who said that Alexander the Great he saw the sun sitting in murky water? Oh, it's obviously it's Allah speaking there. Allah, thank you very much. So Allah, why Allah will say that Alexander the Great, he found the sun sitting in murky water if the sun is not sitting in murky water? Because he's uh, speaking the perspective of Alexander. What, I what? My point. Okay, why Allah, why Allah he say, and Alexander the Great, he found the sun sitting in murky water if Alexander the Great, he did not find that. Alexander, like how Alexander saw it, he explained it that way. Okay, my point. can you show me where it says that he this is how he view and this uh, the, all this hummus you added to the verse? It doesn't say that, it says he keep walking until he found the reach, the sitting place of the sun. So it's a sitting place where he reach. 
and he found it sitting in a spring of a black muddy hot water so Allah is reporting a found what he found so Allah if Alexander the Great is wrong so Allah why Allah will report that he found it sitting in murky water if he did not find that if this is not true Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, can can I uh, send you the link on Skype because you are not getting my point. Can you? Hello? No, I'm getting your point. If Alexander the Great he was wrong, why Allah he is saying and he found it sitting in murky water? Why he don't correct him? He, because he did not say he thought, he did not say it appeared to him, he said he found it. You know what found mean? Found is a word you say if you make a find, a discovery. So he found it sitting in murky water. This is a find nobody knows save Allah and Alexander the Great. So Allah, he agreed with him by reporting what he found. He is not saying no, he did not find that. No, but actually then you can already see the point it said. It say he found he found it sitting in muddy swing like getting my point he found it yes he found no, it, it. that's me it's a fact okay okay so okay that's mean that's mean read the verse with me enter when he reached the sitting place of the sun so this sitting place of the sun where we can find sitting place of the sun because it says here Allah saying he keep going he keep going so he follow away enter enter what and then he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where, where is that location can be found? So I can go in that direction too. See, uh, see, this is this is very simple to answer. You, uh, we, you and you and I, we, we both know that Earth, Earth is a globe, right? What? Hello. You and I, we both know the Earth, that Earth is a globe, right? <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> globe. Earth is a globe. You, you and okay, I okay, 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 Abdul, Abdul. Uh, the connection, my connection is not good. So uh, we will try to go live on air again. And you, you try to search better about this answer and we will take your answer later, okay? Because people are losing my connection in the internet and YouTube. All right? Yeah. All right, guys, I don't know what to do. I mean, the connection obviously is bad. So we are going to stop here. Uh... What we can do, bad connection, what I can do. I have no idea what to do. We will try to come back later online and maybe we can fix this issue. All right. So as you see, the Muslims desperately try to, to find a solution for the garbage in the Quran. Allah cannot be God. Silly, stupid, mad, crazy, all kind of fictions, stupid story, flying carpet, a king who died holding the stake over in his hand. Nobody noticed that he is dead for many months because simply he was standing with the stake. And then how people they noticed that he was dead because the ant, the termite, they ate his stake. I mean, come on, give him a stake from uh, uh, gold so the termite will not eat it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, for those who they are saying why there is no super chat, you know, as you see, YouTube always go against what I do. But if you like to support us, you can go there. It's up to you. And our work is for free. You do not need to donate. We are not here to, you know, to receive a reward. Uh, people support what we do because they like to support us. However, you support, you don't support. Christian Prince will do his duty. There's a super chat, no super chat. Christian Prince will go online and expose Allah and his prophet. They try to stop us in everything they can. Anything you can imagine. I mean, I keep receiving messages from YouTube for anything I say. So I'm not planning to apply for super chat again because they, it looked like they use it as a, as, a, as, a, as a way to oppress me and to force me to say this. I will review your channel carefully and we found that it's against our guideline. Okay, take your support chat and bye-bye. All right, because we will do it and no matter what. And the Lord is our provider. Always the Lord, he is our provider. Always there is ways to come. 
So I want to say thank you for all of you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I will try to come later at night, maybe if I can. Uh, and if not, tomorrow, God is willing. And we hope the internet will be better. With Corona, the internet is down. Too many users at home, etc. So what we can do. Thank you, everyone. God is good. And our God, the Lord, the Messiah, no one is good like him. His name is holy. His act is holy. His teaching is holy. And his wisdom, no one have like it. Read the gospel of Christ. My words is foolishness compared to what he said. You want to read wisdom? You want to learn wisdom? You want to hear wisdom? Go and read what the Messiah said. And then you will know what we are talking about. Thank you, everyone. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again.